What is going on guys? We got a Gums videos. My name is indeed Kyle Gupper and today we are doing our podcast. Uh, we tried to do a podcast last time, but uh, there was some technical difficulty. So we're doing a whole different format. Not that different. We're just recording our audio separately. So um, I'm not alone today. I'm with Andy. Yo, what's up, my dude? Yo, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. We were going to record this like two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> and, or like an hour or two ago. But I remembered, wait, the game trailer for uh, Avengers is supposed to come out, and <laughs> I they kept, I, I was tweeting this out, so if you're not following me on Twitter, you should, Gumps underscore videos, um, they kept fucking showing Final Fantasy spinoffs. It's no secret that I never touched a Final Fantasy game unless I was with my friend. I touched it maybe twice with a total of 25 minutes of gameplay. That's it. It was Final Fantasy fifteen. I thought it was weird. I, I, it's not my cup of tea, but if you guys like it, you like it. But I wasn't a massive fan of it. So for a guy who loves superheroes, constantly being forced to see this Final Fantasy, in my opinion, garbage. Because I, I like I can't really say that because I never played them. But like to me, at, at first look, I was like garbage, not interested. I was getting a little frustrated, <laughs> and I, I was talking. I was talking to uh, Justin from New World Nerds while like while this event was going down. I was telling him. If this game does not impress me, there will be actual hell to pay. I will get into my fucking 96 Jeep that's on its last legs, drive to wherever the fuck they're uh, premiering that thing at, and I'll kick their asses myself. <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll, I'll kill, I'll, like, I'll kick that Polish dude's ass, I'll kick that fucking, like, that fucking guy with the Avengers shirt on, I'll, I'll kick all their ass. They, they brought a lot of energy to the thing. I was really happy. They, like, it shows you that they're genuine nerds yeah. about this content. So that gives me a lot of relief and not only just because the trailer was good, because it seems like they're passionate about the project themselves. And um, the crowd, I could tell the crowd was eating it up. I could tell a, a, a huge amount of them were there for the Avengers trailer. And it did not disappoint, I have to say. Uh, I, at first, I was a little weirded out with the look of Thor. I'm not a massive fan of the look of Thor, like at least with the face and the hair and stuff like that. But uh, Captain America's suit took me a second to get used to. But after I got past that, the trailer just blew me away. I was I was definitely down. I saw Taskmaster. The and like, what really just shook me was the fact that they were a. It's a very story driven game, and b. The gameplay looked a lot of fun. Yeah. And and just they start off with San Francisco being destroyed, basically, and then losing Captain America. You lost your ba your basic icon. And Iron Man, like Iron Man's not dead, but like you lost one of your icons, like the heads or tails, you lost your tail. <laughs> like, basically, and in the first fic fucking like advertising you really have of this game, that, that, that shows you that you have a lot of guts. Yeah. And what I'm also really happy about is the fact that it's a, a whole new original story. I was telling um, Justin what I hate about Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3, A, because it's a Switch exclusive, which it shouldn't be, but whatever. Graphics look like dog shit, and uh, it looks like it just a knockoff of Infinity yeah. War. That's just my opinion. But like, but I was saying like, what made the first two, in my opinion, really great is that they took popular storylines to the the nerd community, but not so much to the like non nerd community, and they opened up these great storylines with Doom taking uh, the power of Odin, and you got Civil War. Like the op the the big public didn't really know that much about Civil War. They probably heard a bunch of nerds talking about it, whatnot, but that kind of opened up the floodgates for that, and that's what introduced me to the storyline of Civil yeah. War. So that's why I love those introducing these cool, really great storylines, and I was expecting that. But I'm just as happy, if not happier, that they're, they're doing an original story because they are. It's the first time in a long time that we're not going to know what's going to happen yeah. next. Like I, I find that fascinating. Andy, what are your thoughts? I thought it looked overall it looked really, really good. Asses. He was, he okay, was hyped. Asses. Like, he was just happy to be the, there. The, like, <laughs> dude, the, both of them, they, they brought a lot of energy to the thing. I was really happy. They like It shows you that they are genuine nerds yeah. about this content. So that gives me a lot of relief. And not only just because the trailer was good, because it seems like they're passionate about the project themselves. Right, right, right. And um, the crowd, I could tell the crowd was eating it up. I could tell a, a, a huge amount of them were there for the Avengers trailer. And it did not disappoint, I have to say. Uh, I w at first, I was a little weirded out with the look of Thor. I'm not a massive fan of the look of Thor, like at least with the face and the hair and stuff like that. 
But uh, Captain America's suit took me a second to get used to. But after I got past that, the trailer just blew me away. I was I was definitely down. I saw Taskmaster. The and like what really just shook me was the fact that they were a it's a very story driven game and b the gameplay looked a lot of fun. Yeah. And and just they start off with San Francisco being destroyed basically and then losing Captain America. You lost your ba- your basic icon and Iron Man like Iron Man's not dead, but like you lost one of your icons, like the heads or tails, you lost your tail. <laughs> like basically and in the first fi- fucking like advertising you really have of this game, that 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 shows you that you have a lot of guts. Yeah. And what I'm also really happy about is the fact that it's a, a whole new original story. I was telling um, Justin what I hate about Marvel's Ultimate Alliance three. A because the it's a Switch exclusive, which it shouldn't be, but whatever. Graphics look like dog shit, and uh, it looks like it just a knockoff of Infinity yeah. War. That's just my opinion, but like. But I was saying, like, what made the first two, in my opinion, really great is that they took popular storylines to the the nerd community, but not so much to the like non nerd community, and they opened up these great storylines with Doom taking uh, the power of Odin, and you got Civil War. Like the op- the the big public didn't really know that much about Civil War. They probably heard a b- bunch of nerds talking about it, whatnot. But that kind of opened up the floodgates for that, and that's what introduced me to the storyline of Civil yeah. War. So that's why I love those. Introducing these cool, really great storylines. And I was expecting that. But I'm just as happy, if not happier, that they're, they're doing an original story. Because they are... It's the first time in a long time that we're not going to know what's going to happen yeah. next. Like, I, I find that fascinating. Andy, what are your thoughts? I thought it looked overall it looked really, really good. But I think like just kind of watching the gameplay and everything, it looks it's The graphics look absolutely amazing. Um... Yeah. The story looks interesting, like really, really interesting. Um, like online play where you can play up to four people. Like you get to be the Avengers, at, like with your friends, which is awesome. Uh, uh, and then like like you uh, said, all their downloadable content that comes after the game releases is absolutely free, so you don't have to pay for like like downloadable. Content. Yeah, like you said, I'm glad that the, the content is free, like all of it. Like I was not, I was, I'm glad, I was hoping that the characters yeah. would be free. Because unless you want to pull an EA, but I was expecting some stuff you had to pay for afterwards. But because like in Spider-Man PS4, some of the content afterwards I want to play, I couldn't play because you had to pay like fifteen right. bucks for it. Yeah, but like so the fact that they she one thing that really interested me, she's like you're gonna, the game's gonna be constantly. Yes, I, I love that. And I'm like that, that. So it's not just like see the problem is with story games, story based games. A non-online play, like stuff that's not like Fortnite, Call of Duty, that get constantly updated. Story story uh, games tend to die the second you right. beat the game. Because yeah, because you you beat the game, you beat it once, twice, maybe three times, like I did with Spider-Man PS4, but you never touch it again because there's nothing else to offer. And then they said constant updates, free DLC. That honestly made me so happy to my core and i did not expect that and the fact that we're gonna be constantly getting new characters brings me like it gives me a lot of hope especially for the non-nerdy community that's just only nerds because of the movies it gets me excited for them because they're gonna be introduced to a lot of characters they probably won't see in the films for right. decades and that that gives me a lot of hope and excitement like i want to see nova i want to see nova in there i think he's a fun fun character to have um, a couple of, like there's that fucking weird ass dog from the Guardians of the Galaxy that we got teased in I think uh, oh yeah movie. it was like he was on the like he was one of the uh, dogs sent up to space yeah, I what his name like is. the Moonshin or whatever yeah I forget his, yeah. his name yeah yeah he was teasing that like imagine seeing him I don't think we're gonna see him in this game obviously but like just like just the possibilities right. are there and I'm very very yeah. intrigued and uh, like I want to know how long the story is too I want to know if it's a relatively short story. Or if it's like an average length story, like it takes like 20 hours of uh, your time to beat the story. Or is this going to be like a Red Dead situation, which I hope not, where it takes like 64 fucking hours <laughs> to beat the goddamn game. As much as I love nerdy stuff, but like that's too much. That too, It's because the second someone like pulls like five all-nighters and it does this for five fucking days straight. And you go on Twitter, he's like, this is what happens. I'm right. going to freak the fuck out. I would literally go to that guy's house and kick him <laughs> the fucking nuts and then punch him in the throat. No, I, like, 
For me, Red Dead, I took, I think it took me like two and a half, half weeks, three weeks to beat it. Um, oh, Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2 took me, took me a little while. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't terrible. Like, I enjoy, I enjoy, I take, I hate games that are like super short. Like, you feel like you just kind of, like, to me, the best game for the PS4 was odd. I feel like it was a little short, me. Um, and like, I, I really hope, I really hope it's not like a lot of, like, besides the stuff you have to do, do. Because that, that can kind of take me out of it every once in a while. Um, but overall, like, I, I think the story going to be... I think it's going to be original. original it's going to be going to introduce a lot of new characters, a lot of new villains. Um, so I think overall, I think it's just going to be an absolutely great time. I think it's just going to be, like, making us full. Like, we're a part of that world, which is very, very important. I think it's going to be awesome if they do that right. Yeah, um... I don't think it's going to be no, open world. I'd, I, I'd be very so. shocked if it was yeah, open world. They would have said that. If it was, I would like to see some open world elements. I would like to see elements of an open world. Like some missions. It's like this relatively... I won't say big, but like for like a mission, like the, the area is very Right, you don't just have to keep like running like forward. Like you get to move around and do other stuff too. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I would like to see some stuff like that. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm just overall impressed, and I'm 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 happy that they impressed me because I came I was coming in with a lot of expectations, especially because I've been waiting since they made that announcement in early 2017. I remember um, seeing like like destruction and shit like that, and like like Cap Shield broken. I think Cap Shield was broken or something like that. I forget what it was, but it was so many years ago. <laughs> it was like a lifetime ago, and we heard nothing since nothing since and i've been sitting there waiting constantly looking on google any news and i would find nothing and eventually i heard that it was gonna be shown at e3 and i was already coming in with a lot of expectations because a you made me wait two fucking years so that's one thing that's one thing they that they, they did a little that i think they should have played a little bit smarter because it like god forbid if it didn't hit well for, with me i'm like Technically, that's not my fault. That's marketing's fault for, like, making me wait two years and stuff like that. Making, like, what marketing, that marketing did is build up anticipation in me. I can't control anticipation. They, the marketing right, controls right. anticipation to a certain extent, I should say. And if you make someone wait two years, that shows that you have a lot of confidence in yeah. what you're making. I feel like if they didn't have the confidence, they would they should have waited a little longer. But thankfully... They they hit the nail on the head. They, yeah. they did a great job. I like I want to see yeah. how big the roster can get. Without I really like I really hope they the like same, the same. I really hope at some point they introduce like, aliens like, like into the world and like. Yeah. Um, I I would think so. I, like I think at some point he, they would yeah. introduce them to the story. And like like I want to see like I want to see all yeah. of these like, like kind of side characters like give us like real weird characters because I want to see like. I want to be able to play with as many of them as possible. Yeah, I think they the fe- the second that they uh, announced that deal was made and everything was a-, a go, I feel like they started getting guys yeah. working on like X Men characters. I guarantee you, the first ones obviously going to be Wolverine. Um, I would assume Cyclops, but like I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't do him second or third. They hate his character. They've been doing shit. Well, well the Fox movies. Fox hated his. They character. hate his character. I don't know why. Yeah, they got to fix that real quick. But before we get into a tangent, like, um, imagine they said that you can upgrade yeah. your character, which I love. I love feeling like your your hours are worth something. You're not just playing a story. The fact that you can customize, upgrade, and unlock new stuff for your character that gives me a lot of time to sit down and just play every single character. And they keep coming out with new characters and stuff like that. And the, if the roster's big enough, I could play, be playing this game yeah. for, like, hundreds of hours just trying to get the 100% mark. And, like, yet again, they said constant updates. So that what that means is I'm never going to have a confirmed 100% yeah. until they if they make a second one. Which I would assume because the hype yeah, around yeah. this game is pretty high. See, I would love it if, they, like, they continued, like, even right. after, like, you beat the story. I would love it if they, like, continued a different story somehow. Like, right at, like after that at one point. Um... 
you know, to, like, try to keep this as a long, continuous game. But what if they already have that, and, like, we Spider-Man swings in, and uses, he takes off the mask, it's the uh, yeah. Peter Parker from the PS4 game. Of, like, that that'll be pretty cool. Even though I don't like the look of Peter Parker in that game, I think he looks fucking disgusting, especially with that hair. <laughs> but I like the actor that plays but, Peter Parker in that game. But, like... Oh yeah, yeah, the actor is fucking yeah. sp- splendid, dude. He did a great job. It's just that the fact that his look right. wasn't exactly all that great, in my opinion. Yeah, at least. but the suits looked incredible. So that's all. But that I would really like. I would love it at the end of the day. I would love it if like, they I would like be so happy with that. Let you like create create your own suit row, or like let, like let you like you know do all of this different stuff. That would be awesome if you were able to do that. Because know. wasn't there a? I forget the name of it. There's like a DC game where um, you would create your own character, create your own hero. Like how you wanted it, with only like two powers or something like that, and then like you went. Like, I would love it if like I you were able to that. do that, like in your. So like when they talk about like about like four players, you you can use any like Marvel characters you want, or you can use your created superhero. Like I thought that'd be really cool. I would imagine like in November or December they would release something like that. Oh yeah, by the way, what, the second you complete the story mode, you yeah. have the ability to create your own superhero. Yeah, yeah that would. And that would be incredible. Because, let's be honest, we all have a superhero we want to be in our mind. Like, with certain powers and stuff like that. With a personality. And, not, like, the one thing that would be hard is with the visual effects they have in this game. Creating yeah. your own character would be pretty right. difficult. Right. But it's still possible. It's still possible. I don't think we'll have the wide variety of customization with our, with our look, at least. Especially with the suits. The suits, I would imagine, would be pretty hard. So, all you would probably have is, like... The, like, yeah, the it's probably like it's probably like like, what, 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 like in um, like that. WWE two two K. Like you have like you have all the stuff like all yeah, the wrestlers basically. have. And like one of, like one of the the trailer shots like you see hey, was Iron Man stuff. flying around in like a like an all white suit. Yeah. Oh my God. The options. The possibilities. That's what I love about this right now is the fact that with this like with story based right. games you usually don't get a lot of options. You usually don't. But this you have so many options and what what's weird that this game reminds me of is this game called x-men yeah yeah yeah, yeah i remember that or something like that like i forget what yeah yeah yeah, yeah it, it gives me vibes like that in ju- just in just story sense just like like not story sense aesthetics i guess it's just the fact that like you get to like customize create and all this other happy shit like there's like that's the only time I felt like in a story based game you're able to customize and create and shit like that. And if we are able to create our own hero, I would fucking love that. And if they had to, w- when we create our character name, I would be fine with them having us use yeah. pre uh, pre words pre created words like super or whatever. Like you have to pick two words or just one word or whatever, just so the characters can say them. Because I don't like it. I, it's it's I understand why, but like I don't like it when they call you like hero, like they just use a, like a basic uh, word on you, so they don't have to worry about like right like, paying voice actors to say whatever you have or what. But if you gave us like like certain words like super iron, uh, captain, warrior, whatever, yeah, and just like a good second word, I would be happy with. I would be I, I'll be fine with that. I'm like I don't care as long as you're making me feel unique. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I know. No, I, 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 I think it's. I think it'd be better. I think it's smarter that way, especially if you have, have like if you have kids playing it. It keeps like, like them safe. You know what I mean? Yeah, what I'm really yeah, excited yeah. about as a a PlayStation user is like we get to uh, play the beta like early, um, and, and, and get that. So, so it's it pays to be a Sony guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's times where it does. It, it's weird, but like. As much as I complain about the the console yeah. PS4, it it does pay the, the help sometimes, and I was I was anticipating them saying crossplay. I was anticipating that. I, uh, like you said, we got one surprise for you, uh, PS4 <laughs> users. I was like, crossplay maybe? Question mark. I'm not surprised that they're not going to be crossplay. A lot of people think just because one right, game right. or two games have crossplay, right, that right, every right. game should have it. It's not as easy as it looks or sounds. Like, oh, it's not. Yeah, Sony's. Been <laughs> a bunch of that, no. Wait. Uh, um, no, it's, it's 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 just um, it's the problem is right that there's a lot of contracts involved. There's a lot of contracts involved. Like this game I was playing a lot, Warframe. 
They were. They said we we were open to it, but we were intimidated with the amount of negotiations and a lot of um contracts right. we had to sign. It just becomes a lot more dangerous for us. So it's understandable why there's not a lot of crossplay. So people got to relax on that. So um, yeah, that that's um. Anything else you want to talk about this game before yeah. we move on to our? Um, main no, I think like, one thing that did topic, like guys. one thing I really 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 <laughs> enjoyed about like the whole Hulk looked as well. Um, because he looked just like the way they created Bruce Banner. Yes. Yeah, and then when he turned into the Hulk, like his face still kind of still looked like Bruce Banner. Um, and I'm, I'm a big I'm a big big fan of when they do that. Yes, I like that little touch. Yeah. yeah, I definitely agree. Like what they did with, um, and I love how like the whole like changed change the look in every the single the movie. Like, like I said, I hope this does become really successful and it just launches a, a bunch of series of games. Like imagine having like, like several like a, a MCU yeah, yeah. and video games, an MVU if you will. Yeah, like a Marvel video game universe that would be fucking awesome. Like it starts off with Spider Man, Avengers comes out, and they're like shit. This is successful. Uh, Marvel it lets uh, Square Enix or what, whoever is Insomniac. Maybe Insomniac makes this the, yeah. the solo games and Square Enix makes the Avengers games. But the thing is Square Enix takes way too fucking long. But, but they, like, I'm, I'm fine with them taking like long if they get it perfect. You know what I mean? Like, I'd much rather them... I'd much rather people take take their time than... If, yeah, if like, the perfect example of this is Dark Phoenix of, like... I know they, I know they push the date back. Like if they take their time and, and like they perfect everything yeah. in the game, then you know, I, I, I'm fine with waiting. Um, yeah. Oh, one thing maybe they like the reason why it's been, been taking so long is they want to get all all their like DLC stuff already ready to go, so they don't have to like. Because they said they want to do it, want to do it periodically and quicker. Good point. And so I think that would be like smart of them to go ahead and get everything ready so that all they have to do is just launch it. That's a good point. That, <laughs> that's not something I would normally think of. Um, well, yeah, overall, I'm I'm pretty sure we're both really, really excited. And maybe me and Andy, if, if we can get Nico and Justin involved in the game, uh, we all four of us will stream that oh, game. Yeah. That would be pretty fun, A four way, like a three-way stream. That would be pretty dope. Uh, but that, that's uh, that's a year away, so we'll talk about that much down the line. What are you guys' thoughts? Make sure you put the comments down below. I want to hear what is your favorite thing about this whole panel E3. Clearly, most of you <laughs> say Final Fantasy, and I'll be forced to ask which one. Okay, let's move this. Let's move to the next topic in our final topic. Um, okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay, Andy, you're gonna you, you know what we're talking about, so you you, right. hold, you start us off before right. I get into a tangent. So the last thing we're gonna talk about is, and, and Gump asked me to do this, so I can get my piece, and then I'm gonna let him kind of on his rant about it because it's it's very interesting to hear. Um, but is that everybody knows how fandoms are, are crazy at times. Um, we've seen this with DC, we've seen this with Game of Thrones, and now we are seeing it in. in MCU and Marvel, Marvel. Um, and that is is that fans have started a petition. I think it's been taken down by now, but, but there was a petition going around for the MCU to bring back Iron Man um, because pe people can't handle death in, in movies and things like that. So my, my point of view on, on this is fans, fans have a right to express their opinion. Fans have a right to say they don't like something, they like something, this, that, this, that or, or whatever. They have the right to do that. But there comes a time when you've crossed the line when it's doing that. And this is one of those things of really pointless to do this. Like, his character arc was heading that way. It, it's how they took the character. Robert Downey Jr. didn't re like, like renew his contract. Um, he he's come out and said that he's, like, he's happy with how his character has ended because it's the way that it should have ended. Um, the same thing with with, with Chris Evans and Captain America. The, both of their character arcs came to the perfect end um, of who they are. They are. And, and if you can't, can't live with it, if you can't ha handle that, if you don't like that, get over it because that's what we have. Um, this goes to the same thing of, of Game of Thrones. There's a lot of people didn't like how season, season 8 went. Then quit watching. Get over it. It's it's not your decision. Like We we come up with anticipation in our head. We come up with expectations in our head. And then when we don't, we don't, don't, don't we want refuse to take what they've given us and you can't do that and in, in marvel or in movies and in things like that in general um, it's, just, it's it's becoming a more and more apparent in every fandom 
that all this bull crap is happening. And it's, it's, just getting, it's just getting to the point where it's really, really interesting to see. Um, it really ticks me off every time I see it. I know it ticks off Gump. So um, that's kind of my, th- my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts on it, Gump? Yes, no yelling, please, because my ears can't take it. Okay, so it's after hours, so... Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, This is literally the fucking dumbest thing I have ever heard. It shows you what kind of culture we're living in today, when the best thing you can do with your fucking free time is to write a goddamn petition about a fictitious character... That has been in the fucking movies for 11 years. He died. Let's start a petition to bring his ass back. Why? Because he was happy. Boo fucking who? Okay. Okay. So, like, uh, the biggest thing, the main reason why people are fucking signing this goddamn petition. By the way, last time I checked, I had, like, over 35,000 signatures. Who are you, people, to decide what a multi billion dollar company can do you guys most of you are fucking in your teenage years i'm 21 i don't <laughs> dictate what the mcu does our lord and savior kevin feige does but yeah. i re- remember remember when petitions online were about real shit i do it was it seems so long ago many moons ago when a petition was started about like yo we gotta like listen what's going on like at like x restaurant is not cool because there's a lot of like worker abuse right. and stuff like that. Sign a petition to get them uh, a pay raise and this and that. Okay, boom, we're, we did it for good. But now, in today's culture, because everyone's so fucking sheltered, their biggest concern in life is what happens to a fictitious character. Basically, a guy who got paid $55 million to play in two movies. That, that, that's your main concern. Bring him back because he was happy. Because since Iron Man 1, he was never really happy. He's been in this struggle. Now the fact the second he's happy, he dies. He had five years of happiness. The second that that snap happened, he had a daughter and he was living. His daughter was five years old, so that means he had five years of happiness. Okay? So, back the fuck up. He had his happiness. He made the sacrifice play that we all pretty much knew he was going to make. And everyone, like, I, I guarantee you, half these fucking people who are saying this shit are the same ones saying, there's no shaky MCU, blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. Shut up. You crying little babies. There's so much more to complain about. Like, like I'm not going to bring this up or talk about specifics, but politics or fucking world in general. Like, there's so much more real shit to talk about. Like, the shit that actors are getting away with sometimes. Corporate businesses doing st- pretty some sketchy stuff. Some sketchy stuff. There's a lot we can take our energy and use the internet for good. But what do you decide to do with it? You decide to talk about... A fucking guy in an iron suit who goes pew pew shoots pretty little lasers out of fucking purple grimace. That's what you want to talk about? Fuck you! I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> Do something no, my, better with your my life. My whole thing God, is like, damn it, I'm so mad. Like we, you know, we like to talk about our opinion. We like to give our opinion, and we're allowed to give our opinion because that's kind of what these are made for, or is to get us talking about it. Um, but when you go around saying that your opinion is exactly valid. And everyone else doesn't really doesn't really matter. Like that's that's dumb. Like that's not an opinion anymore. That's just you being a jerk about a thing. Um, so like I I feel like it's Tony Stark was my favorite character in the MCU. Like he's still my favorite character to in the MCU. His character arc was as the absolute best. Like like it was it's it basically to me it's perfect. Like his, his character arc is absolutely perfect. Um, and so the fact that, that like people are upset about, about, about it, get it, you're emotional about it. He's one of like the most loved characters of all time, and he dies, and like, and, like you're, you're about it. I t- totally get it. That's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make you feel emotion. But you don't have to go and sign a petition to, to bring him back because you're kind of happy with, with with how things go. And I, people always like to say that like, the number one complaint is, you no. Know, the MCU doesn't doesn't have stake. Like, no consequences for having the MCU, and then there's consequences when there's something that actually happens. People get like people come about it. Like people are mad because Black Widow died. People are mad because Tony Iron Man died. Like those are called stakes. Those are called consequences. Those are called 
they made their choice, and here's their, their like here's they had to pay for their choice. Um, and so like you can't you can't make those arguments when these two characters have literally given their life for the cause. Like they they literally give their life without Black Widow making that sacrifice play. The Avengers wouldn't have won at all. They wouldn't have got that, that Soul Stone. So like like she, she did her part. Tony did part. It's just time that we move on. Like it's time that we live with it and we move on and we get ready for what they're going to give us. People have too much time on their hands. Don't make me cry. And the day of the, like, <laughs> let me get a little real with everybody real quick because, um, not like super real as in like super emotional or anything like that, but like, and uh, it's not going to be, it's, it's like, uh, there's not, no, no going to be, there no tears or anything like that, but like, so, um, a long time ago, back in the age of like the industri- industrial revolution, all that stuff. People thought machines were going to take our jobs. Okay, I clearly didn't. It created new jobs. Um, let me t- let me give you a, a prime example of how something we, that is in our day to day lives was a major fear back in the day. ATM machines. You know that little thing you put your your pesky little credit card or debit card in and you take money out. That yeah that that thing. When that was initially coming out, I believe in like the 30s or 40s, whenever that thing came out, I don't remember, um, banks thought that it was going to be the end of bank tellers. They thought that jobs were going to be gone forever, for at least for the banks. Right. Machines are taking over, they said. Now, guess what? There's more bank tellers because you know why? Because bank tellers don't just have to sit there and distribute money. There's it, right. it opened up new possibilities that they didn't even know were possible yet. Like in banks, there's financial people that help you learn the finance stuff, learning how to get your credit score up. There's a lot of stuff there now that they didn't have back then because guess what? All they were learning to do was just distribute money for your paycheck and shit like that. But back then, they thought it was the end of jobs. Now, I say this for one reason because – I believe we are in a very similar transitional period. We're in the the ATMs are taking our jobs kind of phase. Very similar. We're in the age of the internet where we're we are making history right now more than ever before. With mo- with movies, entertainment, people keep being paid right. millions of dollars for gaming and stuff like that. The internet, social media, Right now, we're in that transitional phase because we don't know what to do yet. <laughs> I I have a f- strong feeling because if we're not fucking dead within the next 50 years, which I hope not, but like, let's who knows? Like, tomorrow something right, spicy right. could happen. Um, but we eventually will learn how to handle the internet and right. create because we're making history right now. And it could take as long as 30 years. But the second we create these incredible new jobs with the internet, um, I feel like the negativity is going to – It's the negativity is always going to be there. You're always going to have negative Nancys and stuff like that. But within the 30-year span, we're going to learn how to cope with this stuff, and there's going to be a lot of negative Nancys taken off the internet. Not taken off, but they're going to learn that – you know, I right. have a job now that involves the internet and stuff like that. I, I feel like in this transitional period, things will get easier. Right. And that's that's what that's all I think it is right now. We're just struggling to handle basically this infinite power that we never had before. Because we we can literally like as of right now, if we're t- speaking military terms, we can wage wars in seconds. Like wars can end in seconds. Like. We just send a fucking drone, boom, guy dead. We didn't. We, it only cost a couple hundred grand, and that's the war. Instead of costing billions and billions of dollars, it was like a hundred grand. You build a drone, you send it out there, boom, no, no lives lost. That's that's gonna be war soon. It's pretty much war what it is now, to an extent. Like we are in such a historic moment that the average citizen just doesn't know how to handle it, and that's what my, that's why I mean by I was gonna get like. Real, really quick. Yeah, yeah. Because Thanos is right. We should have watched that. My belief is because I would like to think it's going to be like that. Because God, if it's like this for the rest of humanity, we're fucked, dude. We're done. Maybe. (laughs) Yeah, we're done. Like, 
<laughs> That's why I, I remember uh, talking to my buddy Crystal about that. I'm like, no, I do not condone genocide. Right. I'm going to make oh, that, that clear. Right now. Yeah, maybe he was right. Yo, that, that shit in Endgame, that's yeah, propaganda. Uh, Another thing I want to blame it on, because if I'm going to have to point fingers, I'm going to responsibly point fingers and not just blame entire people. Because clearly, it, it, I want to blame certain parents. Because parenting is hard, but there's certain parents out there that allow this kind of crap to go on. Obviously, not every parent's going to know right. that this is happening in general because with the internet, you can keep a lot of secrets now. But there are certain parents out there that know this is happening and they allow it to happen. There's a lot of shitty parents out there nowadays. Like, I, like working in retail for the four months I did, I've seen some terrible people that had kids. I'm just like, how are you allowed to breed? <laughs> That should be, a, like, illegal. Honestly. I feel like you need to take a fucking morality test. And if you get a fucking 10 or below, <laughs> you fucking should not have a kid. Ever. They should clip your fucking re reproductive organs and say, that's it. You enjoy it, but you're not going to make anything out of it. It's just, like, oh, yeah, don't worry. You're allowed to fuck. We can't control you on that end. But we clipped you. Tough shit. Like, Seriously. This is like right. there's some people that just like I can't blame all kids. There are some kids out there that just act like gods, and their parents don't know how to handle it. Because yet again, the internet is such a new thing, and parents clearly didn't grow up with the internet, so they don't know how to cope with it. But like I said, yeah, some parents are just dipshits that are just like, oh, you're my baby yeah, screaming, it, it, give him a tablet. Here you go. That's not how you raise. That's how you fucking silence. And that's how that. your kid gets issues when you grow up. Like if I if I I remember my grandma, the good old fashioned grandma. If I did I I, I I did that in front of my grandmother, she would embarrass me. She didn't believe in beating because like a because it was a new society, a new day. But if it was the eighties and nineties, like when my mom was a kid, she would smack the shit out of her. But clearly that's not that's not good anymore. So for obvious reasons, because that's fucking bad. But my grandmother was very adaptive. She learned how to embarrass. She's like, you want to be a dick in front of public? Like, you want to embarrass me? I'll embarrass you back. And she would, um, she, I remember one time she got my favorite shirt. This, it was my Spider-Man shirt. It was, it was cool. It was, uh, I forget what it was specifically, but it was like a <laughs> Spider-Man 2 shirt. And it was like completely red and with like a black layout of Spider-Man. That, that is amazing. She got bleach and made it pink. And she... She she bleached all my socks. She bleached ha she bleached half my socks pink, and um, and then uh, she uh, so, and this is when I had to, uh, I would get buzz cut. She's like, okay, you, you want you want to be a dick? Also, I'm gonna buzz cut you. Oh, I like my hair. No, tough shit. Buzz, buzz, buzz. That's it. Yeah. So she's like, no, no, I'm not dealing. So right. like, like, it, right. like exactly. I'm not emotionally traumatized about it. But it was embarrassing enough, at least at the moment, too, to make me stop fucking kicking and screaming and crying in public. Right. And specifically around her. <laughs> it's like, it's like there has to be like some form of way you got to raise kids and parents just throw them a tablet because it's easy. And parenting should not be easy because you're raising a human being into society and – Nah, nah. Like I told, I remember uh, talking to uh, Crystal. I'm like, if my kid ever acted up, I would embarrass the fucking shit out of him. Oh, social media, right. eh? I know your password. Tr test me. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I own you. It might, like, listen, you're underage, so like, technically, I own this account. So, hmm, try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. The second you turn 18, I can't do it. But like, guess what? I own you. <laughs> yeah, like. I will ruin your image on social media because that's all kids have nowadays is your image on social media. I will literally post some of the nastiest right. shit on their social media. Oh, oh, you want to be a smart ass or hey, you want to be like <laughs> you want to be a homophobic little shit because you know kids act homophobic when they're fucking ten years old for some reason nowadays. Oh, I will literally post dick pics on his Twitter. Oh, who's homophobic now, bitch? And I, 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 I will literally ruin him, ruin him. But right. yet again, people just give them the tablet, and that's why kids act like they're they're literally gods on the internet because they have no they have not been taught boundaries, and that's at least that's part of the issue. And the other half of the issue is, you know, kids 
just like when they get punished and stuff like that from like actual parents, they feel like their only escape is online and they could take their aggressions out on the internet. Oh, my mommy is you fucking grounded at me because you know I got a fucking F on my 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 Spanish quiz. I'm gonna go on the internet and just scream re really loud. I'm like, right, like take your shit somewhere else. So uh, clearly, parents can't do everything, and I want that to be clear, especially for any parents listening. You can't do everything, but there are parents out there that allow this shit to happen. The second you're sitting at the dinner table, I'll say no phones. But I like that compromise. Like, hey. You're sitting down, right? Yeah. Playing on your phones until the food comes in. Cause I hate it when uh, I'm sitting there having dinner with at least certain people, and they sit there on their phones while I'm trying to have a conversation with them. Like th- that that irks me so much. I'm like, I'm trying to have a conversation with you like an adult, and you're not a kid. Why are you on your phone? Oh, I'm listening. Oh, where are you now? Why are you checking your Facebook status, dipshit? Like, like, like it just drives me nuts. Like. I don't know right. how – because I wasn't yeah. raised in a particular way to think like that. I just ge- genuinely wasn't. But I'm a very communicative person. I like to chat and like like you know, communicate with other people. And I hate it right. when people in a commutative setting yeah. decide to still be on their fucking phones. I'm like, can you just drop it for five – this is coming from a guy who's – basically career is coming from the fucking internet. And I'm like, drop the phone. It's not not like right, whatever's right. going to be there is going to be there later. Shit, or yeah, is it a live it's, stream? It's crazy. You can literally pause the live stream and watch it later. Will it be live? No, but it'll still be there. Spoilers that don't look on Twitter, dipshit. It's simple. It's it's a simple calculus. Like, yeah, like <laughs> people literally live on the phones now, and maybe that's why they're a thousand dollars. Something fucking ridiculous, dude. Oh, you you want a cheap version? You want here's the here's the budget phone, seven hundred and seventy six dollars. Excuse me, <laughs> my, I remember talking to my buddy the other uh, the other day. It was like last week, and he sat there. I'm like, is that is that is that the new iPhone? And he's like, yeah, man, this is the budget phone. I'm like, well, how much was that? Two hundred dollars? And he's like, no, seven hundred and seventy six dollars. I nearly coughed up like fuck. Like I'm telling you, I was like. Freaking, uh, yeah. the girl from Incredibles too. And then fucking water went out my nose. I was like, "Excuse me, what you just said?" <laughs> no, I, I would that, pay for your phone at that point. Like, here's a piece of plastic we make every year, seven hundred dollars. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, fucking eat my ass, dude. I'd rather strip. Here, dude. Take take, take two hundred dollars out the cash register. I'd rather like, take the phone. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, hey, in, unless you give me that phone for free, I'll strip. Oh God, here's the phone, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh gross! Oh gross! Dude, I want a I want a movie made about me, which is no. like where I just go up to the register and say, "I'll strip right here, right now," and they're like, oh, "Look at security." So I'm like, "I got baby oil." So, and then, <laughs> and then the security guard ain't gonna want to touch me. We got ta- we got we got tasers. Oh, I like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> then the, 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 that's how, that's how I make my money. How, how do you think I have this uh, equipment? How do you think I have a camera and lights? Yeah, I I, I didn't suck dick for nothing. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but dude, that's ridiculous though. The phones are so fucking expensive, dude. It's ridiculous. Like, like this phone I have is absolute garbage. I can't. Like the space is incredible. I love this space on it. I can have like up to three thousand photos on it. It's incredible. But the battery life sucks. Uh, I had a lot of issues with it. The, the like for some reason it has a hard time connecting yeah. to the internet. Um, well, even the iPhone I thing. have, it, bar- it, it does not hold a long charge. As long oh, as much more- we went from we went from Iron Man dying to yeah, how man. parents raise their kids to more yeah, cell phone payments yeah, to everything else. Yeah. To everything else. Um, I mean, do you want to uh, hit politics? So- <laughs> we hit politics. <laughs> the i we, the parenting the fucking iPhone. No, 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 no. no. I don't know. I try to stay away from it as much as possible. Okay, so Donald Trump, let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, listen, I don't talk about politics on my it. channel either. On both, both yeah, sides no, no, of the no, no, no. on both sides of the spectrum. 
Yeah, I, I try to. I like that. That's the most I'll ever say is his name, and then I. I I'm I sorry, sorry, I have an opinion. Because if I make it, if I say anything, <laughs> people will be on me like a fucking fly on shit. Yeah, yeah unsubbing. Both sides of the yeah. spectrum. Yeah. Unsubbing. Like I'm like okay, I'm sorry. So like um, yeah, right. It's really sad that it's come to that though. But uh, anyways, before we accidentally get into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll call it, it really here, guys. Is. We. So right now we have recorded for a total of an hour and thirty minutes, but probably a good fifty minutes of that is of us uh, cutting in and out and just deciding to hang up and restart the conversation at hand. <laughs> so, but um, as usual, oh, yeah. dude, I had a lots of fun talking with you. I'm Andy. Um, I definitely Hi. want you to be a regular whenever. My name. My name is Andy. The, when the, what the hell we're gonna do these podcasts and stuff like that. Like if Jason's ever available, <laughs> just let him know, and I'll try to get. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get Andy in here. Not Andy. God damn it, Nico. I'm gonna try to get. Yeah, wait. Oh, to, <laughs> I meant Andy too over there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Andy. Hi, guy. <laughs> no, I meant to say Nico. Get uh, Justin. I don't think he's a he's uh, too comfortable with podcasts specifically, so I'm gonna leave him to the gaming stuff. But I'd like to get Nico in here. Maybe get a couple other nerds in here. Um, yeah, but like. So podcasts aren't going to have a massive schedule because I want to do them whenever I can. And uh, we'll just – I'm not afraid of tangents because, you know, it's a podcast. That's what you basically come to see. And if you're listening to me on the radio, baby boy, uh, <coughs> hello, I'm in your car. So um, no, I think that's going to be it. So um, basically – oh, yeah, before we leave today, I want to have a shout-out. Let me open up my Twitter really quick, baby boy, before I forget – Okay, we got to have a massive shout out to where's his name? Massive, massive shout out to the guy at Funky Five One Five Zero for subscribing to Dorks Next Door. If you want to get a shout out on Twitter and YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the Dorks Next Door. Go to my Twitter, screenshot that proving that you subscribed, send it to me, and I'll shout out shout you out. And if you happen to be, if you are the what is it? If you are the thirty fifth. Or the, and the fiftieth uh, subscriber on Andy's channel, you will get a chance to game with me, chat with me on a podcast, anybody of your choice. But you have to be number. Uh, you can you can find us on Twitter uh, at Dorks Next Door. Take out the E from next. Um, you can find us on on YouTube, obviously Dorks Next Door. Um, we are live every Tuesday with our podcast, um, where we discuss whatever's going on. Obviously tomorrow. Or Tuesday, we're we're gonna discuss the Avengers game. We're gonna discuss a lot of different different stuff. Um, we've got a lot of interesting stuff and new stuff stuff coming out. We got a lot of stuff we're working on now, so, so we're, we're looking forward to that. Um, yeah, we, we we enjoy talking about nerdy stuff. So if you enjoyed stuff like this, um, come on over to our channel. We, we love discussing stuff like that. We have gump on gump on it's been a while. Um, it was fun, and yeah, we just just have a blast. Yes, and make sure you subscribe to me, Gumps Videos. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. And like I said, these podcasts are going to be whenever I can get them out. They're never going to be more than once a week, though, um, just for our sake because, you know, we're going to be based – like there's only like, so much we could talk about in one week unless literally the world fucking ended with like news and stuff like that. Like Avengers – Five, six, and seven have been confirmed. Spider Man is going to get a live action Spider Verse. Unless all that shit happens in like one day, yeah, podcast ain't going to happen in uh, more than once a week. So, um, yeah, that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening. If you hear to the very end, congratulations. Congrats. Yes, you, deserve a, you deserve a prize for that. Yeah, yeah honestly, like, <laughs> <laughs> you really do. Like, we went all over the place, but you're here for our personalities. And thank you so much for listening. And I hope everyone here has a nice day, and make sure you leave a like on the video and comment down below. I, I always respond to comments. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that crap. Subscribe to Andy from Dorks Next Door, and I hope everyone has a nice day. Later, and goodbye.